Jack, Jack, when are you going to invite me over for a dinner party? I was like, mm, how about never? <laughs> I've seen come dine with me. I'm not putting myself through that shit. Because if anyone's seen come dine with me, right, that will put you off having a dinner party or even having friends for the rest of your life. <laughs> Where do they find those people? You could give them the best night of their entire lives. As soon as they get in the back of the cab, they're thinking about one thing and one thing alone, the tray of cash. They're greedy bastards. <laughs> So, tell me, how was your evening? Oh my god, it was amazing. We arrived early, we were given volapons and champagne. We were then ushered through to the garden, where we witnessed the most wonderful fireworks display and a live performance from the Beatles. We then tottered on through to the dining area, where I sat down not upon a chair, but upon the naked, coiled body of Megan Fox. For starter, we had a fruit de la mer platter, followed by a rare unicorn steak. Midway through the meal, I needed to go to the toilet to relieve myself. There was no toilet to piss into, so I got to urinate into the mouth of the boy that bullied me at school. <laughs> at the end of the evening, we were all given a goodie bag which contained a Nebuchadnezzar of champagne, rich, luxurious Belgian chocolates, and the love and attention that I craved from my father as a child. <laughs> and oh, I nearly forgot to mention, at the beginning of the evening, one of our assembled party announced to the group that they were, in fact, a vegetarian. So they were captured in a tuna net, dragged outside into the garden, told to stop seeking attention, and then shot in the face with a wailing harpoon. <laughs> it was the most wonderful evening of my life, and that's why I'm giving our host for this evening a two. <laughs> Outrageous!